Here we have verse 16 of the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, in which Jesus is extending the metaphor that he's introduced, that we are the light of the world, referring to God's people, that uh, a light is not ordinarily placed under some kind of obscuring object, a bushel basket, something like that, but rather it's put out there in the middle of the room so they can give light to all who are in the house. And then he draws the natural inference from that, which we have here in verse 16, hutos, which is an indeclinable adverb, means thus, uh, in light of this, uh, lampsato, from, uh, from uh, lampo, means to shine. I shine would be the idea. The word lamp, of course, comes from that. Uh, ordinarily, it would be used in some different sense. Uh, here we have the third person singular aorist active imperative. Uh, the third person imperative usually is introduced with the English word let, so let something happen would be the idea. That's normally the way it's rendered, so let it shine would be the notion. Uh, what are we going to let shine? Well, toe, the uh, uh, nominative here in the neuter article, the light, tophos. Uh, who moan the light of you so thus let it shine the light of you and then improsthen this is a, a preposition takes the genitive here we have the genitive plural of anthropon so we have a tone anthropon before so uh, let the light of you shine before in the presence of men uh, men, uh, plural here, suggesting uh, the uh, uh, particular concrete experiences of life, the particular men that are brought into our uh, world. Uh, these are the ones before whom our light should si shine. And what does that mean exactly? Well, hopos, uh, rather a synonym to hina, means in order that, takes the subjunctive. Here we have the subjunctive twice, idusen, and then doxasusen. So in order that, number one, idusen, they may see, this is the third person plural, uh, aorist, active subjunctive, in order that they may see, who moan, put up front here for emphasis, uh, see the of you, uh, and then takala, the uh, good works, the beautiful works would be the idea, erga, works. Uh, in the accusative, it's the object of idusen, they belong to you. So, in order that uh, they may see the good works of you, and then the second subjunctive, and doxasosen, uh, this is from doxazo, it means to glorify, third person plural, uh, aorist active subjunctive, and glorify, tone patera, the father, who moan of you, uh, of course referring to God as father, a relationship uh, realized through Christ, so in glorify, the father of you, and then tone in apposition, in tois or renois, the in the heavens one. So they may glorify the father of you, the in the heavens father, the heavenly father. Uh, so as we do good works before men, uh, letting our light shine thereby, uh, we are going to cause people to recognize the association, the parallel, between the form of life we're living and the God who is inspiring it, as uh, Jesus paints the picture here.